Mamá Indigos are volunteers, souls that came from far away to fulfill a mission because of their love for humanity so strong. They already knew that for their own protection, their memories will be wiped out the moment they were born here in this planet, and they accept it. Being born just like any other human being, being raised inside a programming of a society that is being controlled for centuries. They constantly willing to come even, even they know that this programming will also trap them one way or another. But they are still volunteers out of pure love. Indigo moms. They are human beings that since the little kids, they were not able to fit in. Always feeling that they are not from this world. Always having a deep love for stars and other planets. Feeling and connecting to Mother Nature and animals in a different way. A deeper meaning with a deeper meaning and a deeper love. When indigo mothers had children, they want to protect them from darkness and all their mind control programs. But they are not just but they are judged. They are judged as crazy overprotected controllers moms. They feel, indigo moms feel they are trapped in a society that teach their children to go against them, to see them as their enemies. They are moms that constantly struggle trying to understand why they even agree to with this mission. Even get harder for them when they start remembering they have been here multiple times for many past life and when they just realize they had the when they just realize they had the accumulation of multiple emotions and countless wounds not even yet healed they notice they carry bags full of pain from one life to another. The dark ones knows this. And they surround them waiting like vultures. The perfect moment to psyche attack them. And if they are not careful, the feeling and pressure of being trapped in this world, they can get psyche attack to end their life, which is another, which is nothing but another evil trap. Darkness entities may whisper. Go ahead, it's your body, it's your life, end it. No, 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 no. See, these bodies, see, these bodies are the spark, these bodies and the spark of life do not belong to us. It's been given to us for a reason. And we had no right to destroy it. And every day, indigo moms face traps after traps. Indigo moms are trying to understand how to escape from all the traps they have fallen for. Day by day, they are trying to figure out how to save themselves from unhealthy relationships unhealthy friendships 
from their unwanted jobs, from their fears, and so on. They are trying to survive from the feelings of being trapped, while on the same time having the responsibility of protecting their children and their loved ones. And that right there is the true mission of an Indigo mom. But the question is, how they can help their loved one from danger? If Indigo moms are constantly misunderstood and mistreated, Indigo moms are called bipolar, paranoid, conspiracy theorists, sometimes by their own families. Indigo moms are feeling trapped with a broken heart, sometimes with a very little energy to move on. But they cannot lose hope or faith because their time has come. Indigo moms finally are being divine activated. Now they know who they really are and what they're here for. The feelings of shame and guilt will not, will not trap them anymore. They are being able to heal past life wounds and they get to know that forgiveness is the key of their way out. And that is how they get to disconnect from their own programming, allowing the power of love to take over fear. Disconnecting the programming of judgment, knowing that no one is better than no one, and no one no more than no one. Now it's clear to them that we are all one, and we all need to unite. And all we need to unite to survive because love is the answer to break free from a programming of feeling of the programming of feeling trapped thank you